Tiger's in, too. Good. That means they're all rounded up except the mountain lion. What worries me now is where Branch is. Well, maybe he's got a lead on the mountain lion. Oh, even so, he would... Hello. You what? And so the mystery of who released the zoo animals is solved by the confession of the person who did it, the zoo's head keeper, Branch Hawksbill. Reporters interviewed him immediately after his voluntary surrender. Now to the police station. Aren't you, Mr. Hawksbill? Isn't it dangerous to have animals running around like that? Yeah, it's pretty bad letting those cats out like that. Which is more dangerous, the tiger or the lion? You're the one that admits that they let them out. Sure, I turned them animals out. I wanted to wake this town up to what was happening to our zoo. Well, like what, sir? Well, when I first come to work here, son, we had a zoo that anybody would be proud of. But we just didn't keep up with the time. Now the whole city ought to be ashamed of itself. Mr. Hawksbill, how can you justify this action? Well, maybe after what happened today, why, somebody will give a little thought to the zoo and what's going on over there. And if I shook everybody up real good, why, then it was worth it. But how about the penalties that you're going to face yourself? Well, I don't worry too much about what's going to happen to an old cuss like me anymore. I was about ready to retire. And don't call them dumb animals, because when it comes to dumb, you've got some city councilmen that can match them. <laughs> oh, no. Released, of course, were three young suspects arrested earlier. Now the sports and weather. On the local front, we have slight changes of weather. Well, Branch couldn't have done that. He was with me at the hippo pen. Or oh, just before? Yeah. Look, Isabel, I'm sorry, but... Chris and Sunshine? Grady Street Alley. Right, I'm on my way. Is Reeby still in the truck? Afraid so. Yeah. animals are going nuts, it's going to take a couple bullets. You better call and tell the chief. Fire 78, calling headquarters. Message for the chief. They don't get you back, sunshine, ever. Don't you worry. Are you Dr. Hartwood? Yeah. The chief has sent you a message, sir. He said to remind you that your six hours are up. Nor did he agree to allow any animal to attack or endanger others. Also authorize Sergeant Creeby to proceed as necessary. Where's the boy? Well, they walked inside the warehouse door with the mountain lion. You stay here. This time, I'd better go first. You can wait one more minute, Sergeant. I want you to come out now, son. Go away and leave us alone. I'm sorry, Chris. I can't do that. Chris and Sunshine are very unhappy. I can hardly hold... Might as well put that thing down. You can't use your rifle any more than I can use mine. The boy's in there with his arms around Sunshine's neck. Can't take a chance on hitting him. Did they find his parents yet? Yeah, they're still out looking for him. Doctor, I've got my orders. Now, I'm going to get that mountain lion to charge. When he gets clear, he gets it. Now, wait Sorry. a second. Hold it. Just give me a minute. 
Look, I've got an idea. The boy isn't the only one that knows something about handling a mountain lion. Just freeze everything right here. I'll be right back, okay? All right, this time I'm going all the way. Now, no matter what happens, you hold your fire. Doctor, that depends on what happens when you get near that cat. Dr. Hartwood, don't you come any closer. Now, Chris, we don't want to have to hurt Sunshine. <laughs> I think so, son. Animals like me. I like them. Anyway, I'm coming down now. No worries, In just about five seconds, I'm gonna have sunshine purring. Don't, Dr. Hartford. It's not chloroform or gas or drugs. It's a new secret weapon Branch Harksbill invented. Here, try some. Why, it's only whipped cream. That's right. Now, Chris, I want you to listen to me carefully. And then I want you to think hard about something. Defendant, how do you plead? Guilty. You realize I can sentence you up to five years? Yes, sir, I do. Do you have an explanation for this utterly irresponsible action? Well, Your Honor, it's just like I said. If I shook this whole city up, I'll be a cross-eyed lion if it wasn't dang well worth it. Very well. This court imposes a fine of $2,000. And a sentence of at least... Uh, Your, Your Honor, I've only got about $45.37 in here. Your Honor? I'm Dr. Hartwood, the director of the zoo. I have evidence to prove this man is not guilty. But I am guilty. Now, this is a frame-up. I'm the one that did it, sir. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Your Honor, the, this, this little boy is just like my own flesh and blood. Why, he's just saying that to protect me. Now, Chris, you don't have to do that. Now, you go on home with your folks where you belong. Th this ain't a fitting place for you. I did it, Mr. Hawksbill. You know I did it. Judge, he don't know what he's saying. He's been drinking. Or, well, he's... Permission is given to address the court. Let's get it on the record. Well, Your Honor... I'm glad the press is here. This may be the last thing I say as the director of the zoo, but I intend to say it. This little boy loves animals. He believes, as he told me, that if an animal can't be kept healthy and happy and contented, it shouldn't be kept at all, in a park, in a zoo, or any place. Now, that reason, and that reason alone, is why he turned these animals loose. Your Honor, the crime isn't that somebody turned these animals loose and upset an entire city. The crime is that apparently this had to happen to make this city sit up and pay attention. When people are indifferent and apathetic about the zoo, they're indifferent and apathetic about their schools and hospitals. When people learn to be kind to animals, they're kind to other people too. But when they're cruel and indifferent to animals, they're cruel and indifferent to other people. So you see, a zoo is kind of the first test of how we really are. Really civilized, or animals ourselves. And that's what, what this little boy and, and this wonderful old man may finally have brought home to this community. Your Honor, I don't believe they deserve any punishment for what they did. I believe this community may come to realize that the only thing they deserve is thanks. District Attorney sees fit so to move, the court will entertain a motion for dismissal. 
So moved, Your Honor. You are dismissed, sir, with my deepest respect. <laughs> I'll be a cross-eyed liar. Now, as to this young man, you know you did wrong releasing those animals, don't you, son? Yes, sir. Your actions could have had very serious consequences. However, under the circumstances, I am going to make your punishment an exemplary one. I'm going to sentence you to forced labor. Two hours a day at the city zoo until school starts under the supervision of Mr. Branch Hawksbull. Court adjourned.